A man stung nearly a thousand times by bees last week gets to thank the firefighters who saved him not once, but twice. Tonight, Jose Rojas is not only out of the hospital, he's also getting back to work. His arms, hands, neck, even his mouth are covered with dark colored scabs, bumps, and open wounds. Something I wouldn't want nobody else to go through. The injuries are from a bee attack so vicious. And the noise, I mean, the, the sound was bad. It left Jose Rojas thinking he might just die. Something like a lot of needles just going through your body, your head, your hands. One minute, he's on a tractor, clearing out brush off Chapman Road in rural San Benito. The next, he's on the ground, covered in bees. I think over a thousand, because I was killing them. As they were getting me, I was fighting, I was eating some of them, because I couldn't talk, so I had to eat them to warn the person to call nine. One, one. Just telling the story of last Wednesday's attack and two-day hospitalization causes Jose to show signs of fear. Sometimes I feel dizzy. You can only imagine how he feels knowing that his tractor, which is his only source for income, is still at that job site. I've heard that you could die. I don't want to see Jose get hurt, and neither does the San Benito Fire Department. I personally put a call into the chief. He sent two units out here to suit up Jose along with one of their firefighters to make sure he can get his tractor tractor back and get back to making a living. Even with the protective gear on, Jose's not 100 percent. A little nervous, but it's safe. Firefighters escort him out into the brush. Minutes later, a tractor pulls out. Jose knows he's been saved not once, but twice. I'm just grateful for the fire department. We just don't know what we have in this country. I mean, people helping. Got a problem that's leaving you with a sting? One call can change it all. Call Channel 4 and uh, you get action. Jose says the man who hired him to do the work did not offer to help him retrieve his tractor. Instead, only tried to, to get him to sign paperwork to release him of any responsibility. My attempts to speak with that landowner in question have not yet been returned. I posted pictures from Jose's bee attack on Twitter and on Facebook to check them out and share any story idea you might have with me. Just search Ryan Wolf. I'm online right now. I'd love to hear from you. And